Hey everyone, today I'm diving into Romans chapter 1. This chapter lays the groundwork for the entire book of Romans, written by the Apostle Paul. So grab your Bibles and let's explore some key insights together. First up, Paul introduces himself as a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle. He emphasizes his mission to spread the gospel, a message promised through the prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Paul's focus is on Jesus, the Son of God, who was declared with power to be the Son of God by his resurrection from the dead. Paul then addresses the Roman believers. He thanks God for their faith, which is being reported all over the world. Imagine that. Their faith is so strong, it's making headlines everywhere. Paul longs to visit them, to impart some spiritual gift to make them strong. He wants to encourage them and be encouraged by them. One of the standout verses is Romans 1, 16. Paul writes, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. This verse is a bold declaration of the transformative power of the gospel. Next, Paul talks about God's wrath against sinful humanity. He explains how people have turned away from God and worshipped created things rather than the Creator. This section can be a tough read, but it's crucial for understanding the seriousness of turning away from God. Paul ends the chapter by listing various sins, emphasizing that when people reject God, their lives spiral into all sorts of destructive behaviors. But remember, Paul's goal isn't to condemn, but to point out our need for a savior. So what can we take away from Romans chapter one? First, it's a reminder of the power and importance of the gospel. Second, it highlights the gravity of sin and the consequences of turning away from God. And finally, it sets the stage for the rest of the letter where Paul will unpack the amazing grace available through Jesus Christ. Thanks for joining me on this journey through Romans chapter 1. Stay tuned for more insights in the upcoming chapters. And remember, the gospel is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. See you next time.